Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome, I'm Lord Spinkinam and today I have for you some free max ammo and tips and tricks within the Eyes and Draco. This is basically a high round strategy method and it's for everyone that's a pro down to an absolute noob. So first of all, don't travel too far from dog skies, especially from the rocket pad back up to the main castle area. It will cause the dogs to despawn and as you can see the round will just end your max ammo will be floating around somewhere on the map that you have no idea next is the gobblegum alchemical antithesis always use the gobblegum machine if you, even if you already have it because you can still get it again and if you've already used one that will just boost it back up to two and will really help you in those high rounds now the next one is the gondola. As I said guys, some of these will be common sense, I know, but this is just every little bit of information I could give you. So always use the gondola if you are running low on ammo, because as you can see, you can get that max ammo and it's going to save you a gobble gum. It's going to save you having to train for a couple rounds until you get a drop on the max ammo. And it just really is useful when you get that max ammo from the gondola. The next one is if you are camping in this area, as you can see I'm using a gun at the moment, but for high rounds when you're actually using the storm bow and you see those drops, don't waste your ammo and risk killing yourself trying to get to that death machine and the max ammo that have dropped. You just use the jump pad, run that back down to this one, use the jump pad straight away and then as you run around the corner your drops will be sitting there waiting for you, nice and safe free of zombies and you haven't had to waste any ammo or risk your life. Now the next one, this is the free max ammo guys and it's pretty simple. Just get the void bow, the wolf bow and the fire bow done as quickly as possible because as you can see in the later rounds it can be very very difficult to do all these steps. Especially with the void bow, the zombie will just despawn trying to stab it to death and you'll have to stab another one to death and as you can see with the wolf bow on round 60 it can be a little bit nerve-wracking and trying to keep yourself safe you end up wasting ammo just keeping yourself safe and it defeats the whole point of getting free max ammos to make your game last longer if you're wasting ammo as well with the fire bow I, I like to leave a zombie at the end of the round when I'm doing these jumping and the ring steps and I end up having to fire my bow off of the map because as you can see the storm chases the last zombie around the map if it's close and that's not good for you because you'll end up killing the last zombie and having to go on to the next round while doing these steps which can be a bit annoying and as I said you just waste ammo completely defeating the whole point so get these steps done as quickly as possible now for your first free max ammos with this step the, ma the magma mound shall we call it if you manage to do it in three out of the four shots that you have a chance of doing it in, you'll get a free max ammo from the fireplace. So as soon as you've got your second shot in front of the fireplace, just leave it there because it will just stay there indefinitely. I did it on round 80 up to round 85 and the, the mound just stayed there and as you can see you can get a free max ammo so just leave that mound and then as you can see in this clip, which is exactly what I did on another scenario, is just come back to it later when you're running low on ammo, just do a quick drive-by, throw a monkey bomb possibly to keep yourself safe, and fire your bow, you got yourself a free max ammo, so that's your first one. And then the others are pretty self-explanatory. As I said, some of these are common sense guys, but all you want to do is make sure you have all your arrows set up as I've been explaining. As you can see, I've got them all in my inventory, but I haven't put them down. Then as you can see, when you are running low on ammo, you're in your camping spot with your storm bow, you're running low, throw a monkey bomb, run back down to this area, grab some ammo. Even if it's the end of the round and you're like, oh, I've only got 10 bullets left, I have got a gobble gum. I prefer to have that gobble gum as a safety measure always on me and I'd prefer to get a free max ammo first because that gobble gum you can use anywhere whereas this max ammo you specifically have to come down here and get it so I always prefer to have a free max ammo gobble gum than to use one of these max ammos first so just always use these first guys but other than that hope you like my little tips and tricks have an awesome day